You have to be careful when you use an image that you find on the internet, because if it's copyrighted, you could end up with bills ranging into the thousands of dollars for misuse of an image. There are a lot of websites online where you can download images that are safe to use. They're royalty free, even for commercial use. Some of these are paid sites. Some of them are free sites. So you can get free images or you can go to the paid sites if you wish. But some of those paid sites are very, very expensive. So I've pulled up a list of eight free sites that I like. And the main criteria is they need to have a search feature because there are a lot of sites out there offering free use of the photos, but there's no search feature. So you can't really find what you're looking for. So the first website then is images.google.com. And I want to go through each of these sites and do a search or two just to show you the sorts of images that you can get back. Now going to images at Google does not mean you can use the images that you find. Let's type in a search and I'll have a look for an image on a computer. Okay, there's lots and lots of images here. Some of them are great, some of them I'd love to use, maybe, but I don't know whether I'm allowed to use them. So what you need to do is you need to go to search tools and usage rights and then select the appropriate usage that you want. So these ones will be labeled for reuse. These ones are labeled reuse, but you need to modify them. And then you've got some that can be used for non-commercial reuse and non-commercial reuse with modification. Let's just select labeled for reuse. And this should show you the images that you are then safe to be able to use. Some of them will require you to include the photographer's details, the name or the website. In other words, an attribution with the image. Some of them don't require that. Now, if you don't include an attribution when it specifically says you need to, the license says you need to, then again, you can be in trouble. So you need to check with the images. So you do still have to be careful with Google images, even when you select reuse. So you always make sure you've checked the license for an image you download before you use it. Okay, let's go to the first of the other free sites. And this one is Pixabay. This is my absolute favorite for finding images. I can usually find what I want here. Let's just do a search of computers. And computer images, there's 4,032. These top ones here, you can see there's a watermark that says Shutterstock. These are actually on the Shutterstock website. And if you click through, then they are commercial. But any that does not have that watermark is free to use. So let's just have a look down here. There's some sort of clip arty ones, and there's actual photos as well. Um, let's have a look. That looks like a photo. If we click on it, you can see that, in fact, that's not a photo, that's a clip art as well. So let's go back and find a photo. That one looks like a photo. Oh, clip art. Okay, that's a photograph. And you can see with all of these, you've got small, medium, large, and Excel downloads. Absolutely free to use. You check the license there to make sure that you can use it, but it says here free for commercial use, no attribution required. So that is a perfectly free one to use. So that's Pixabay. And as I said, that is my favorite. You can even get these really large images if you need to do some work with a large image, like a book cover or something, if, you, if you're doing Kindle books. But let's have a look at the next one. The next one is called unrestrictedstock.com. And you can see the types of images they've got here on the cover. But let's just do our search again. We'll search for computers. Let's scroll to the bottom. Here we go. We've got a search box at the bottom. Search for computer. And we've got free hand-drawn communication icons, computer and hardware, vectors, digital communications, camera icons, and free stock vector images. Let's look at computer and hardware. Okay, so we've got some art, clip art type images there. This site tends to have a lot more clip arty type images. Let's have a look at something else. Let's see if it can come up with any dogs. Okay. This is a photograph in Sweden telling you to pick up your dog poo. Okay, so there are photographs there as well. So that's unrestricted stock.
The next one is splitshire.com and again you can see over here we've got the search box so let's do a search for computer and you can see we've got photographs here not always the best quality but some of them you might find a use for let's have a look and see if there is anything for dogs okay we've got some dog photos here again these are free to download and use but as always things can change so do check if you use images from one of these sites make sure that you still can you've also got here categories so you can search through categories as well if you want to let's have a look let's say I want to do something with technology tablets camera lens cameras okay so that's split shy another good one for free images next one is life of pics now be careful with the search box this is actually a banner which will take you to a different website you see some images on there scroll to the bottom okay here's the search box let's search for computer okay nothing's found for computer let's try dog the dog in the car it's dog on the street it's a nice big dog a couple of dogs playing Let's just try one more search and see whether it can come up with anything for fruit. Those look like hops, maybe. Oh no, hazelnuts. I thought they looked like hops. They're using beer. Anyway, that's Life of Picks. That's another one. Pick Jumbo. Again, we've got the same banner for searching for images. This takes you to Dreams Time website, which I think is a commercial site. We don't want that. We're looking for free images. See some of the photos there. We can search up here. Let's search for computer and have a look. Okay, there's a photograph of, looks like a woman using a computer. There's computer things there more computer stuff again these are all free downloads okay so that's another good site this site I would use probably for finding images to use as Udemy course course images because these are quite good let's go to the next one unsplash and again there's some nice photographs on here those ones are all landscapes let's have a look for our computer search again see what it can come up with okay it's quite an interesting one okay lots of nice images of computers again right the next one and the last of the free ones is called free range stock good photos that's a beautiful photograph totally free again and let's do our search for computer and see what it comes up with okay we've got again up the top here we've got sponsored images these are from Shutterstock which will cost you money and then we've got free stock from free range these are the ones that are free to use and you can see lots and lots of pages of images to look at let's just click through on one of those and see what options we've got okay this image size is 2400 pixels by 1600 pixels so it's a good resolution image okay right those are the free ones there's just one paid site I want to show you because this is the site that I go to if I can't find an image on one of the free sites and sometimes I'll even go here just to see what the photo June website has and see if they're actually better than some of the free because these images start at one dollar 
per image and I don't mind paying a dollar per image. If I'm doing an article I might put a couple of images in and a couple of dollars per article is not a great outlay. So let's have a look at computer again and you can see there are lots and lots of images. 60 pages of images. Let's have a look at one of these and I can show you the options for download. Okay, there's a shopping trolley key. Let's just click through to that. Now you can see that says $5. Well, that's because it's got the large one selected. That's 3000 by 2000 pixels or six, a six megabyte image. For most blog posts, in fact, for all blog posts, the only option I ever use is extra small. It's not that small, 548 by 365. That's plenty big for a web page. If you consider your web page might only be 800 pixels across full width, then that is easily large enough for a blog post. And as I said, $1 for a license to use it. Okay, so that's my roundup. On the website, you can see below this video, the various websites and links to those websites. So there's no reason why you can't include great images in all of your web content.